Hi students, so in this video I'm going to be looking at the atomic spectra and what you can see from that. As we've already discussed, stars can be classified according to their main colors. So a yellow looking star would be a G star, that would be something like our sun. And from that, from the Hertz, Hertzsprung Russell diagram, can predict the luminosity of the star. But within the spectra, you get these, these lines, what we call a line spectra. And um, it's not very clear in this diagram, but I'm just sort of adding a few in here. Actually, all of these, if you look very carefully, these are all very faint lines. And from that, you can actually tell the, the elements because those are absorption spectra where electrons have um, absorbed photons of light uh, according to those very specific uh, energy levels. And um, that can be, these can be um, examined in the laboratory and uh, the, the certain patterns, it's almost like a fingerprint for different elements. And so from that, uh, one, uh, astronomers are able to uh, find out what the elements are within a star. So it's, it's really important for analyzing stars, along with actually knowing, as just mentioned, putting them into their spectral class, which is also important. But what was also noticed, which was really important, was that there's this Doppler, Doppler shift effect. Now, we know that when a source of light is moving, or a source of a wave is, is moving towards or away, it actually causes the wavelength to actually move. So, in this example over here, we've actually got three of the same spectrum, and you can see the, the lines follow but what happens in this over here, this is a red shift. Now what that means is that all these lines have been shifted in the red direction. In other words, the wavelength is, is longer. And this basically means that the, the source, or, or in actual terms when you talk about astronomy, the, the space in between the stars is actually increased and therefore the wavelength has actually been spread out or made longer. Here we have what we call blue shift in that all the spectral lines, all these absorption spectrum lines have all been shifted towards the blue part. Now this means that the, that the source is uh, moving towards, um, is moving towards and therefore causing the wavelengths to be bunched up and therefore a shorter wavelength and a correspondingly higher frequency. So, from from looking at these at the red shift, um, most stars, when we look at them, and most galaxies seem to be moving away. So there's this general red shift. So the idea that the the universe is expanding, it's getting bigger, um, causing the light in between to to be uh, the wavelengths to be increased. Okay, so that's this this whole idea of the Doppler effect. Now with high level we will actually look and see looking at the change in that wavelength by looking at the change in the wavelength of how much it's moved and um, we can actually get an indication of how quickly uh, that star or that galaxy is moving away from us. Okay, thank you very much.